Hello, baby gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. Now, to start off, someone gifted me another Welkin, um, and I want to say thank you for that. Um, if you if you're the one who did that, take credits in the comments so I can actually thank you properly. Another person also gifted a bunch of crystals, uh, a bunch of gems, a bunch of crystals that like, you know, out of nowhere, and they're already a patron, which makes it really sweet as well. If you want that credit too, I never want to call out someone's name in the video unless like they want to be credited. Um, but honestly, like, please, like, please let me know if you want me to thank you completely, because this is a, a very, very nice thing to do. Uh, the community around Genshin is one of the most beautiful communities in the world. The reasoning for doing this, by the way, was so, um... I could get one of the outfits that I've been wanting for a while and like because I was never gonna you know spend money on the outfit myself uh, but like the thing is they they were very nice as to be like hey you want this outfit get the outfit such a delightful summer outfit and now we have like probably the most fashionable jean in history look at this <laughs> like I I will never get over how generous the community is surrounding Genshin. Um, so, so generous. Um, the person who, who gave this stuff, by the way, is already a patron as well, and already absolutely giving enough. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm amazed. So let's start off with doing our commissions uh, today, and let's uh, d deal with, uh, go with that. Um, okay, so we have... Okay, let's show us here on uh, the commissions that we can do. So, Bottomless Appetite is the first one. It's the closest one in Liu Harbor. Liu Harbor. I mean, like, just we just go. There's no point in like uh, figuring out what we're gonna do. Oh, the battery's low. We might as well actually uh, charge it now, so that when it, in the future, it won't make a big mistake about it. So let's talk to this guy over here. So actually, Jean, new outfit, main character style, no longer side character. Look at this. <laughs> new, new main character now. Uh, hello. Hello, uh, do you rumble? My, my stomach is making an awful racket again. I was saying, do you need any rumble? Uh, what were you, you were saying? My, my stomach acts up like every time I'm hungry. Rumble this and rumble that. It's really loud, uh, too. I can't even hear the sound of my own voice. Although rumble went to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get myself checked. Uh, oh, he's rumbling. Okay, but the doctor said uh, that I was not sick, just hungry. So there's no cure for my. The doctor said that I just need to put eat uh, full meals, and I've uh, always had a bigger than most. If I eat my fill every time, I burn a hole right through my wallet. The guy tells me that if the main meals don't fill me up yet, I should buy a little something to fill in the gaps in between, so it doesn't affect my work. Fill in the gaps, he says. But I've got a long list of dishes I like to eat, and I'm not sure which is best for filling my stomach. Travel, your experience in the outdoor life. Surely you know what foods will fill your stomach best. Could you help me pick some of the most filling and delicious meals from dish from my list? Sure, I'll try. I'm craving some lotus seed and bird egg soup, but also some black birch, uh, black pack perch stew. Though some monster dishes also catch my fancy. Chicken and mushroom skewer would go amiss, nor would a tea break, a uh, pancake, or several. Well, just get me one of these, and that will fill my stomach. Thanks for your help. I will eat at least uh, my st uh, I will eat that. At least my stomach won't be crying all day. Really, what you want to eat? Do we have it? We don't have any of those meals. <laughs> uh, we can make a chicken and mushroom skewer for sure, right? We can make that. Um, where's the best place to, to cook this, though? Probably in the restaurant if they let us cook it there. In the Wangshu Inn. Um, also, people said that there's like I can go into the vault and like rob the place. <laughs> Which is uh, very funny. I, I'm just being completely honest. Like I'm not sure exactly where the vault would be. Um, let's actually, let's, what we can do is, as we're getting the food for him, we can go do another commission, because we're gonna find a fire pit when we get to, to another commission, you know what I mean? What's this one? You know what I mean? We're gonna get to a fire pit if, if we, um, travel far enough. And I feel like that makes sense to kill two birds with one stone. And then we can meet Zhang Li. Oh, this is a nice little travel here as well. Her new outfit's so good. Like, it's so, so good. I'm actually like like right now I'm playing I guess like three open world games at the same time. I'm playing this, I'm playing Pokemon Violet, and I'm playing um 
Dragon's Dogma 2. So I'm having my fill of open world games, and that's what's always so crazy. Like it's like people are like always like, oh man, like you know, op open world overload. Sometimes you can have too many open world games. If the open world games are good, and they have their own features to them, they have a good feeling about them, then I would never get tired of them. You know what I mean? Like to me, it's not like about if it's an open world or not. It's how they establish their open world, how they make their open world feel special to other open worlds. That's how you do it. And it doesn't have to feel unique, it just has to feel like this is this world, it feels like you're living in it, uh, it feels good to explore it. And also the character movement is super important too. But to me it's super important, the character movement also. Because the fact that like, it's like right away you can go like, okay I'm moving around with these characters, it feels really good to move around. That's instantly like, okay, I can, I can explore this world for hours. Look at them dancing around the fire pit. Excuse me. Oh, it's in the, there's the abyss mage. Midnight phantasmagoria. Midnight phantasmagoria. Okay, we're gonna do a whole episode without laments. Okay, I thought we would do do a whole episode without laments. It'd be really funny. What do you guys think? I agree. I disagree. Let's. I agree. Let's not do it. <laughs> It's like, it's, it is like, I think Xiao is our main character in terms of like our, 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 our power usage and stuff like that. Like, he's the guy we use more than anything. Um, and I'm okay with that. I think like, like everyone has like a character that they use the most. Uh, I, I'm right in saying that because I think a lot of people have their own characters that they use probably more than anyone. And that is the kind of their main damage giver on the team. He definitely is my damage boy. Oh, we still have Wander on the team. What the hell? Get off the team, Wander. <laughs> We love you, but you're, it's not your time. Hold on a second. Let's get uh, Zing Shu back on the team. Actually, just because we're looking for fires, let's put Bennett on the team for a bit. You know what I mean? Maybe he could set fire to this. Can we cook on this? We cannot cook on that. <laughs> okay, cool. Another ley line. Usually there is some stuff by the ley lines. Oh, where's the ley line? Where is it? Where is it? Over here. Yeah, we'll find a fire pit and we'll make some uh, chicken and mushroom skewers. Really, what if you want to fill your belly up, guys? Though you go, you want to make. Um, I'm trying to look for a fire pit here before we do anything. If you're, if you want to fill up your belly, what you really want to do is eat carbohydrates, for sure. Lipids, good lipids, good carbohydrates. Oh, here's a cooking thing right there. Uh, that you that will fill your belly up for a while. If you're looking, like especially if you're working, like that's why like the idea of like toast became. So, like, you know, popular with breakfast because, like, it is such a small thing that fills you up to lunch and it keeps you filled up to lunch in some cases. Let's not, um, <laughs> let's not lie and say that, like, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes we're, we, uh, we don't get filled up completely with toast. Let's go. Actually, having Ben here is going to be fantastic. Where do the enemies come from here first? Oh, we're going to go check this out. Check oh, here, one second. Look at that overload. Into a little sing shoe. Freaking great. Just just a great character is Bennett. Come from this setting, I guess, this time. Hey! Oh, they bypassed my one plan. Let's light it up! <laughs> By royal decree! <laughs> and you gotta kill this guy over here as well. Go really good bow. Unofficial, by the way. Really good bow. And then from this side as well. You thought that this was the end? Oh god, he, he ran me. He, he knew my plan. He was like, I'm not having you do this. As you wish, main foiline. Main foiline. We also have to do some battles, some dueling. We haven't done it in a while. Uh, I think it's just because it's hard, like it's 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 always like, oh, which, which is best to do it. But I guess we can find duelists close by. And where can you buy cards? That's one thing I'd like to know. It's like, where can you buy cards? Like, as soon as I learn where to buy cards as well, like, it's, it's, we're, we're, we're gonna be dueling. We're gonna be dueling. 
cool. Another one down there. And then to feed all opponents is the next one. Then we just have to feed the other guy and we're fine. We're done then. I think this is the fastest we've ever done a commission. The our commissions. Stopped. I don't concern myself with the weather. Same. Look how tall Zhao is though. Watch this. Look, watch. Wait. Okay. Get the right angle here. There we go. Look. See, look at him. G no, no. Gigantic. Tall. Uh, tall boy. I thought we were going to fall in the water there. Defeat all the pawns. They're just up the, the mountain pass here. Gene's other outfit was cool. But it was just not as cool as like what we have now. There's no end to this. This this muddy guy. I I pity muddy boy more than anyone. Hear me. Midnight I, yeah, I agree. She's so smart. Here comes reinforcements. Honestly? Do your worst. I think that like it's it's definitely like different like it, it depends on obviously the enemies themselves. But Ben is a really good addition to this team too. I don't think we're gonna be sad about having Ben in here. Look at that. A cool way to avoid, uh, you know, moves as well. Place my hammer. Really cool way of avoiding moves. It's just to do the dash, because you can get out of a, a very tough situation that way, too. Very, very cool. Okay, and then the last one is going to be back at the area over here. And it's also, like, really cool how different is that this is the Dragon's Dogma. Because, like, in Dragon's Dogma, if you pick up, like, four pieces of ore, you're, like, almost over-encumbered. Which I, I like, too. I think there's, like, a place for both of them. You know, there's, like, a place for, like, both styles of games. <laughs> Yes, I've got it. You wanted a chicken and mushroom skewer. There you go. Do you want a, do you want a few? Because, like, you seem to be working all day. This dish is well made indeed. A lot of effort must have gone into it, and it does taste great. Still, there's a bit too little of it. I, I could have given you more. Please accept. I could have given you more, my friend. Could have given you more. I had no problem doing that. We also now, because the person gifted those things, we have the ability to wish on this again, which I think... Wait. Wait, what? Did, is Albedo gone? Hold on a second. Wait, Alb Albedo's gone. Oh no, this is the one. <laughs> I was like, where'd he go? Um, uh, so we can wish on this as well, which we will be doing that today. Um, I would have loved to have gotten Klee. We'll do, we're going to do 10 wishes on it, and then we're probably going to save it for the next banner then. I feel like that's the way to do it. Because I still want Albedo as a character. I still think that it's good to have a character like this. There's also a quest here as well, by the way. Um, let's get that before we forget. Because you know me, I probably will bypass it a little bit. Oh, wow, nice roll. It never rains, but it pours. After huge incident at the right of ascension, the streets have been filling up with, um, with Millet. The tension in the air is hanging over. It's like a shroud. Our doors aren't closed, but you know as well as I do that Liu offer, often does business with other nations. And how many people from every nation live in our city? They bought us prosperity and fair amount of cultural exchange, too. But this incident has caused many such people to be very ill at ease. I've been making preparations to try and calm people down, but with the situation as it is, I don't know where to begin looking for people good at international relations. Wait a minute, Trevor, you've been to many different parts of the world already, haven't you? You must be good at speaking to people from other nations. Could I trouble you to help me uh, calm some guests down? I'll give it a try. Well then, please do. I really have no one else to turn to. Um, I will, I will also say as well, like, I get some comments sometimes of people being like, just to, like, you know, let you know, like, some of the quests in this game are long, and, like, thank you for letting me know. I will say, though, I probably play more JRPGs, uh, than I do breathing and eating. <laughs> um, so, like, I'm very used to quests being long, 
And like I'm literally playing Dragon's Dogma now where a quest can take up to three hours. You know what I mean? It's fine. It's fine. We won't we won't have any trouble. Um I'm you know, I'm playing Dragon's Dogma where you literally cannot you ha like quests are like time sensitive and also at the same Thank time you, you have to like do you know, they they last like a few hours themselves. So we can also Dispatch a character in expedition, take orders to claim all. Dispatch again, I think is the best way to do it. Just, yeah, have them dispatched. <laughs> okay. So we're actually, like, uh, feeling pretty good about ourselves right now. We collected our commissions. We have a little side quest that we can do now, which is the, um... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. This one here. So we might as well do it. Just do this quest really quickly. It's so cool having another main character in the team now. Look at this. It's such a good outfit. It's so nice. It's so good. I'm pressing circle because that's the Dragon's Dogma. Guys, now you're going to have to deal with me doing the Dragon's Dogma run now. <laughs> we should check back and uh, head back to Mondstadt. Come on now. Just don't need any uh, Zhang Yuan Chop Suey next time. I wasn't talking about that. I mean, maybe I was a bit... But the main thing is what happened at the right ascension. Just think about it, sis. That was like one of those big ceremonies in church holes in Lord Barbata Barbados' honor. But if something like that could happen during the ceremony, nowhere, nowhere in Liyue is safe. We should head back to Monster post haste. Liyue is pretty safe. You see, Jerry, I'm not, I'm not the only one saying it. There's also this. Uh, you're the honorary knight. I've heard of you. You took out Storm Terror. See, Jerry, take it from the honorary knight. Liyue is a safe place. Let's continue to enjoy our pursuit of gourmet food and peace. Even if you say so, what if Liyue f is full of these frightening dishes like Zhang and Chop Suey? Come on, Liyue is full of famous cuisine. You just haven't found out uh, what uh, suits your preferences yet. Who's Which one is talking? I'm sure that they call it uh, Jade Parcels will be more to your taste. Let's go try that next. Um, But with Liyue in such a state, where will we go to find someone that makes such a dish? Uh, I can do it. Really? Well, I never thought that right was a person that had so many talents. We'll be counting on you then. Come on, Jerry, cheer up, the gourmet, cheer up, our gourmet journey isn't going to end here. Do we have? I think we do have. So you're Jerry. And you're Frecky. So I was doing it completely wrong. <laughs> Jerry's been completely transplanted the dish. Well, I guess it ends uh, with them wanting to go back to Monson. Thank you, Arnold. Uh, looks like our journey will continue after all. Yeah, I did not know who was talking there. I did not know who was talking there at all. <laughs> For a second. But we did the we did the little mission. What you think of my new outfit, Chan? It's very nice. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. What a night of Evodius, I tell ya. She's exhausted. <laughs> we have to talk to Nervous Anne again? Calm oh, we have to calm other people down too. We have to calm a bunch of people down. This is actually a really interesting mission, isn't it? And it makes sense, like, you know, this would be kind of a turbulent time for everybody. Uh, maybe I should think of some uh, other way. How are you doing? Yeah, you must be talking about the recent events here in Liyue Harbor. Well, I have no opinion on the matter, really. That said, the people who have been supplying me with... Shnizdayan goods and who occasionally buy coral lapis from me are very unnerved. I told them that there should be no problem here in Liyue, but they said that they only uh, that they'd only be back in a few months and that they'll wait and see how things play out for now. Fortunately, I'd already brought several new batches of goods, so I can last for quite a while. I'm also taking the opportunity to stock up on some coral lapis. I still need to demand the store here, so could you help me ask Mr. Bolay if he has any coral lapis that he could take off his hands? Uh, I got it. Thank you. I think I have some core lapis. Oh, I have to ask someone else? I mean, okay. But, like... He's under here, isn't he? Like, I I think I have a bunch of core lapis. If Gene came in flying at me like this, I would run. <laughs> you sure this is time to talk business to me? Oh, you mean the outlander who does business uh, near the north of the harbor? He still wants my core lapis? Sure, I'm not the one to look a gift horse in the mount. I just happen to have a bunch of coal lapis with me. I originally prepared it for another customer, but they declined for now, saying that Liyue hasn't been safe of late. If that fellow wants to buy, then I'm happy to sell. Go tell him that. I'll stay here and prepare the goods first. Cool. 
These are the type of missions that I absolutely, absolutely love, by the way. And I, I've talked about it online a few times, I've talked about it on Twitter a few times as well, how I genuinely like, like, the type of missions I love, and this, it's the same, and again, I'm talking about Dragon's Dogma because I'm playing Dragon's Dogma 2 at the same time as this, but it's also in Shenmue also, where you talk to one person and go, hey, uh, do you know where I can find, you know, eggs? And the, the person goes, maybe talk to Johnny. And you go over here and go like, hey, Johnny, do you know where I can find some eggs? You know, I saw Tony grabbing some eggs from the, the from the hen hatch down at the old harbor. And you're like, okay, there's no hen hatch at the harbor, by the way. But you know what I mean? Like that's it's like my favorite type of thing. It makes the fertile world feel so real. Like the fact that they're doing business dealings here on the harbor and you're getting to see each perspective is, is really cool. He said he'll prepare the goods. That's great. Then he's a businessman I can trust. When my less stout hearted merchant comrades return to Leeway Harbor, it'll be time to make a killing. So what's the next comment? I love this, man. This is really cool. This is a really neat mission. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. Look at this. Tell me... Like, again, I, I should have asked, and I, I, I'm sorry I didn't ask. I, I did say thank you. Tell me if you want me to say, like, you did this. Because <laughs> I'm just, It's such a good outfit. It's such a sick outfit. So sick. Like, it's actually, like, amazing. It's actually amazing. calm another person down and again it makes it makes the world feel so real because it makes sense that we'd have to calm people down after everything that's happened what am I to do good fortune oh I mean hello I is that right I'm still not familiar with the local greeting team leeway is completely different from Inazuma you're from Inazuma yes I experienced quite a number of trials in the process of coming here well I'd always wanted to see the world but the atmosphere in my homeland is how should I say it tense it's dangerous even trying to leave Inazuma's borders is fraught with difficulty, never mind attempting to travel the world. A normal person would never even make it past many assessments that the Kanju Commission conduct. So I made my own raft and sneaked over here to Liyue. I originally intended to find work here at the wharf as a sailor, but I have no idea where to even begin looking for that job. Also, something that must have happened in Liyue because everything's gotten very tense all of a sudden. I don't think that, uh, there's any place that would be willing to give a job to an outlander like me, is there? What would you like to do? Well, I'd like to be a sailor, of course, but I don't think I could start uh, out as one. I'd be quite satisfied as long as I can get work. Don't underestimate me. Uh, now, back in my hometown, I would always uh, help out at my family's store. I'm very good at delivering goods. You want me to help me? Uh, you want to help me find work? Thank you. That would be lovely. Uh, there's such a fine people in Louie. Uh, yes, I did make some preparations for finding work earlier by asking around. Those people said they wanted to find uh, reliable work. I could go find... Uh, let me see. I wrote it down here. There it is. Uh, so I can look for Manager Kwan, Clerk Xiao, and Nervous Han. But I thought I wrote it down. I'm not very familiar with the way that which uh, that the local uh, interacts, so I haven't dared to ask them. If you want to help me out, please ask them. Hopefully one of them might be willing to hire me. Uh, leave it to me. Thank you so much. Uh, here's the thing. Not a good start if you're looking for a job. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes with jobs, it's who you know and not what you do or how good you are sometimes it is sometimes it legit is like oh you know somebody and they get you in and that's fine like if that's the way you get your job cool you know what i mean <laughs> uh but, and i'm more talking about like say like you know your friend works in the bar and they're like yeah he's, he's cool you know what i mean yeah he's cool that kind of way <sighs> why haven't we received notice yet about finding work finding work you're back at the wrong tree the ministry of civil affairs has sealed the chasm work at black coast forge has been stopped We've already got a lot of people sitting on their hands at the forge who can only do some odd jobs here and there to make ends meet. I'm afraid we're not hiring right now. What will the ministry do if hundreds of people uh, under me really take to the streets to find work? <laughs> so we can talk to Nervous Ant. Nervous Ant should help us out, man. This good because this, this is gonna this is gonna calm calm people down. Is this Nervous Ant? Maybe not. Who's this? Yeah, it is. 
You're back. How have things gone? Do you know Atsuko? I believe referring to the lady from Inazuma has been asking about work I remember. I remember. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any work suited for her. As you've seen before, my data and forms all require more experienced hands. She's experienced. Even if the Ministry of Civil Affairs were to transfer clerks over to us, they would still need some training to be able to do the job well. They just drag us down otherwise. It's especially difficult to look uh, for fresh hires at a time like this, so I apologize, but I don't have any work for that young lady right now. Maybe you have work for this young lady? Imagine that, like, for one day, this is the one day there's an event in Genshin where, like, if you hit someone by accident, they die. <laughs> and then we're like, oh, let's go to prison. It's a beautiful, beautiful location here as well. Who are we talking to up here? Big footed Dai Dijo Clerk Zhao. Now, we helped you out a million times, Clerk Zhao. This one doesn't tally, neither does this one. And this one requests an extension. Do I have to go to chase them by myself for these forms to be completed? What's happening? Not much, it's a whole stack of forms that don't have anyone to take charge of them right now. If I don't slap down some tables myself, everyone just asks for extensions. There's so many other things I need to do right now. What with the situation leeway and all? How much does it take the time out to rush these people? The Mr. Civil. Yes, we could get, like, imagine that special skills. No, not really. I've already written the details of the requests and the deadlines down. I just need someone to get those forms in front of the appropriate people. If the forms arrive at those people, I still don't want them to sell them as for delays, and thus cause our work to not be completed on time. They can explain themselves to the Ministry of Civil Affairs later. So do you want to help, or do you want do you know someone who can? I welcome both. I have a friend who can help. That's great. Get them to come here and report to me. The quicker these are settled, the better. So that makes sense as well. Having like someone who's like has experience being a sailor as well. Like I'm not messing with a sailor. Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're gonna bonk some heads. We're gonna bonk some heads. Trying to manage my stamina better, guys, in this game. Trying to keep an eye on it a bit better, you know? So, I want to do some trading car battles. At least one trading car battle today, because I haven't done it in a bit. And I'm actually very excited to do it. it. Just the issue is, is that, like, I just completely got sidetracked by a lot of things. We were doing, we were doing a lot. And also, like, it was kind of confusing on where to find the, the battles themselves. Um... Shoes are really good, too. I'm here. Sadly, respond. Clerk Xiao has work for you. That's great. What is this specifically? Chasing forms? I've never heard of such work. The UAE is a completely different place from in Azuma, but I'll give them my all, regardless of what the work is. Thank you so much. I'll make some preparations first and I'll report for work. With this, I can finally take a step towards carving a new, a new life myself. Freaking awesome, man. Freaking awesome. And again, like, it just makes the world feel more complete. Because all of these people have specific names, and you see them going out around the ways, it's not the first time we talked to Nervous Anna, it's not the first time we talked to Clerk Xiao, you know what I mean? It's not the first time we've talked to some, most of these people. And the reason that's so special to me is because we have characters now that we got to know, and they're still living here. It's not a situation where they're like, oh, see you later. Like, I'm here now, and I'm, I'm only here for a bit. Like, that that's that's something that always, like, is, is crazy to me in games. Like... And, not, and the thing is, it sounds like it's it's uh, with don't, most games do that. Most games don't do that. Like most games don't have characters. These NPCs have names, and then they show up and have like personalities, and it makes sense. They don't do this. They disappear for side quests and then disappear into the next side quest. I have. Thank you. Now leave the rest to me. Apart from the work with the Outlanders, the Ministry of Civil Affairs is also calming the local populace even as we speak. I don't know how much good we're doing, but I say in such times we should all do what we can. Take these as thanks for your work. You're also a guest from afar, but your timing is truly unfortunate. I can hope these will, uh, will, will all blow over soon. So, we have a lot of- so, I, hold on a second, we have another mission done. Let's take a look at all this stuff first of all. So we have... The Great Phase Reaction Debate. Jami and I were to research who already developed a marvelous phase potion has once again encountered trouble as he has adopted more efficient measures. What the hell is this one? We have this one here. The reason why I haven't done it a lot, I'll be honest with you guys, and it, I think Gene is like not available because of this. The reason why I haven't done this a lot is because I think it, it makes you meet characters you haven't met yet. So we can actually ba complete the prerequisite. Because what's the prerequisite conditions? Complete the battlefield of cats and dice. Okay, so we have to do this. We have 13 days to do this test run. So there's, we already did these test runs. We have the hangout events, a teapot to call home. 
We have this win, and this is all, it's all crazy, man. There's a lot, isn't it? It's always a lot, and it's not like I'm going to be upset about it. I think it's amazing that this game has all, a lot to do, and it's all very substance-filled. And I'm very lucky to have a, the best audience on the planet watching me play this game. Uh, so we have more story quests that we can obtain, right? So we can claim more keys. I would like to do a venti story quest. How, when can we do that? Reach adventure rank 36. So we literally have... That's... If we if we raise our adventure rank, we're doing that. There's some really cool story quests here. And we can eventually talk to Howl. I'm excited. So what else do we have here? We have... In the profiles, who's who needs a profile? You? Why? Asc oh, they want me to ascend him? Why? Oh, you have a consolation? Maybe that's what they wanted, actually. No, they definitely want me to ascend him still. We're not ascending him <laughs> yet. Uh, then we have in here, we have our usual stuff. Yeah, we have all these item stuff. Ascend a Geo character. Ascend this character. How about ascend not? I do hope the Knights of Favonius are all working hard. And then we have this as well. Um, we're close to getting it. Like this is like level ten, which I'm very excited to do. You know what I mean? I'm very excited to. Do. Let's do one wish on the Albedo banner, banner for a second here. Um. Because I definitely want to see if we can get anything to do with this. Oh, we got a four star. The alley flash. Interesting. I want Albedo so badly. I want Albedo. Oh. Is that. That looks like it's Fischl's weapon. But Fishel already has a five-star weapon, so I don't want to like. I don't know if we want to take it off there, do we? Can we check this? Description: Main far line. Not one tear of yours is shed in vain during the pilgrimage. Thus spoke Osvaldo Hasvanes when princesses journeying the land ever silence came to a close. In their long journey across space and time, the princess and their Vertling and her knight severing raven bore witness to countless stories and their endings. Each a raindrop that flows at journey's end into the bitter sea. Every young man's rage at injustice must turn to calm. Every passion must be grounded to dust by the march of time. Before being turned into a wild paranoia upon that inter uh, inverted ancient three, even the branch of the tree of uh, time upon which the great and glorious remain public nested would be cut off in the end, such that the nation founded by the other twin child of the wolves might rule. Everything in this world must pass through the doorway of their destruction onto the future kingdom of the princessin. In the silence of her pitch dark uh, knocked garden, would they find a place to slumber? Even so, when Drakfo fell at the hands of the beasts of the world, having fought for dreams of a young man and the rain that had yet to fall, and was torn to shreds, its claws, the princess and still began to tear up. Hurken well, Osvaldo Herfinus, the sovereign of the Im Im Imnerachtreich, weep it not. She went on, who among those born into this world are not burdened with sin? When the clock sounds for the time of judgment once more, the skirt of the night shall descend once more. Then the writing struggles of a man and beast trapped within the wall will not would be not but a midnight waltz. It is as you say, mein Fräulein. As you should know. Well then, mein Fräulein, I wonder if you still recall this tale. Two of the three bright moons that caused the perfumed sea of the primordial universe to shine and stirred up the beast of the Aryan hunt? realm was shredded by a sword that tore up the horizon asunder, left in smithereens too, even for a small mystical sight of the princess, or perhaps this was what, what happened. The bright moons that once illuminated the universe brought dreams and song to the sleepers of the world, and awakened a deep longing in the beast herds that wandered betwixt the dawn and dusk. They were at last rendered dust, but even so, they too wished to remain within the eternal shining gazing of the princess bringing their subtle light onto more land still. Indeed, a princess does not shed tears. 
that was merely a natural sele- secretion from the royal eyes, affronted as they were, the ultimately intrusion of those impure grains of sand. This is beautifully written. I can't say that I like understand exactly what's happening, like all the time, um, but it seems that it's very emotional time for um, <laughs> uh, our princess, and, and like she's not allowed to cry, but like she's you know the, the Oz is kind of explaining you know letting her cry while also explaining it away, uh, which is really cool. Um, this is a cool weapon. Increases elemental skill damage by 20% for 5 seconds. Elemental skill hits on opponents increase normal attack damage by 20% for 5 seconds. And it suits her. I wonder if we should, like, take that off and put it on her. And who's this for? A mighty noble longsword that bursts into a for uh, bursts forth like a flash of light from the depths of the night. To the end, not even once the sword's edge marred by blood. Uh, it is said that over the generations, many swords crafted from the nobles of knights have been based on the design. The dark and blade bundled into the knights of yore with ease. For the, those days, people feared the, to light fires in nighttime. According to the songs of some bards, it was stained black during the age of aristocracy. Reading the tales and songs of his upright ancestors sowed seeds of rebellion in the young noble's heart. When the time came, he forsook his uh, venerable house, stole the sword, and hid himself in the streets. There he roamed the dark alleys and taverns like the common folk and put his noble swordsmanship to use by robbing the rich to give to the poor. Under cover of night, a sword from an opulent arsenal le leaped across roofs and streets in the hands of one e with equally noble blood. The blade's pristine edge remained unblemished, as is the heart of the gentleman thief who had forsaken his corrupt lineage. But wine and song and youth would fade, and many things would happen. In the end, when under the moonlight he buried his beloved blade and fled across the sea, he remembered that night when he had stolen from his family's vault, and remembered his vow to his family, to past and present to his land, and his sworn brother, Eberhardt. Even if only by little, I want to use my strength to turn this dark world around. Should we know who this is? That's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Let's try it. Let's try again. Let's do it again. Is that another force there? Cool. We're gonna get- we're, we're gonna- we're gonna try and get Albedo. We're gonna try and get Albedo. What's our four star we got here, though? Oh, we got Amber! Oh my god! Actually, you know what? Actually happy to get Amber. That's really cool. Look at this character. So this is a character we haven't gotten yet. That's actually very strange to get Amber, isn't it? In a- in a wish. And then we got another four star. <laughs> Razor! Oh, cool! Okay, actually, yeah. I do you level up his constellations. And a sacrificial sword. Very cool. Okay. Um. I guess we can. Yeah, we can try one more time for sure. We got some cool stuff today. What's this? Eye of Perception. Okay. That's cool. And then we can just do our regular wishes then. Yeah. I really badly want Albedo, I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> I really badly want him. But there you go. Awesome. Oh, we got some cool stuff. We got some cool stuff, and also now we can raise Razor's constellation, right? Where's Razor now? What does this constellation do, actually? Wolf's Instinct. Picking up elemental orbs or power to increase Razor's damage by 10%. It might be worth ascending Razor at some point. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Um, yeah, like, by the way, like, before, so I know someone usually goes like, oh, like, wh why did you spend on that and all this stuff? The person that, that, that bought me those gems said, you know, spend them on Jean's outfit. 
Um, and I'm pretty sure, like, you know, they, they, they are very much into the idea of me using uh, the gems for, you know, whatever I please, really. And I'm very much to say, like, I very much think they are. Yeah, by the way, I'm going to... We, we, we have not wanted to buy something from that shop ever. I want Albedo. I want Albedo very bad. And we might not we might not get him. We might never get him. And that's fine. That's fine. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna cry about it. I'm not gonna be upset about it. We're not gonna sit here and complain about it. We got a four star though, which is really cool. Mika, frontline land surveyor, Knights of Favonius, Excuse me? <laughs> reporting in. It's an honor to fight alongside you. If there's anything I can do to support you, just let me know, and I'll get to it right away. Mickey, you've already done anyway, enough! I'll make every effort to navigate us safely and report accurate intel on the enemy. <laughs> you've already done enough, Mika! <laughs> Mika? What a cool- that's like an all-timer design as well! That's like an all-timer design! Hold on a second. Mika! Where's Mika? We have so many good characters now, guys. It's not... He's adorable! <laughs> Wait. This could be our, like, ice character until uh, Ferminette comes along. Oh, and he has a little crossbow? Wait, he fights with a crossbow? Hold on a second here. So if you auto-add to level him up, let's see... If we can ascend him. We can ascend him. We can ascend this boy. We can ascend this boy. Wait. So now we can have... A nice character, finally. We need this. Where do we get this? Drop by level 30. Sete... Sete went? Sete went at? A sete winnet? What's a sete newet? What is a sete newet? Do you guys know? What is a sete newet? Wait, it, it'll tell me, right? In the thing? Uh, I think they're here, right? A sete newet? Where is it? Enemies. Sete newet? Sete newet? Sete newet? Sete newet? Sete newet? Sete newet? Oh my god, I'm so happy. This is it. This is it. Where can I find it? Oh, so we, need, we haven't unlocked this yet, but we have a level 40 boy now. So where about is that? I this part of dwells in the depths of the desert. So in the desert? Sinsumaru. Guys, that, can I be honest with you? Like, here's the thing. We're going to be using Firmanet when we can. Like, I'm just saying this right now. We're going to send Firmanet when we can. This is a, this is an all-timer design. Can I say what will hold us over until then? Is where is he? Where's our boy? Where's our new boy? Mika, where are you, buddy? Mika, where's Mika? Mika, there he is. That'll hold us over until then. And he has a little, he has a little rat's tail. A little boots. Look at his boots. His boots are too big for him. Oh my god, guys. And yeah, we just need to like. So we need to go to Sumeru. And Sumeru, we're going to get to Sumeru before we get to Fontaine. I think we had a very successful, uh, day. <laughs> I think we did. I want to see what he's like, though. Hold on a second. We should probably, like, we'll look at his stats and stuff like that in a second, too. But I want to go to, uh, wrong thing, sorry. I want to go to, uh, party setup here for a second. Um, and just, we'll switch out... Uh, Shao for him for a second here, just to see, just to see what he's like. Where is he? Let me double check our equipment. All right, everything's ready. Everything's ready. Okay. Oh my God! Like he's every his clothes are too big for him. His clothes are too big. So what's his R two move? Neutralizing threats. An ice crossbow. And he has a spear. He's a spear user. Oh my God! What do you think of this coon? Wah, wah, wah. He's a freaking spear user. Cool, and he's a spear user. 
Oh my god, we can make like a- Eventually, like, we're gonna make a second ascended team. And I think that, like... Hold on a second here, like... I actually think that having... Okay, let's talk- let's, we'll, we'll talk about a second ascending team in a bit. Um... Bennett, for sure, is gonna be on that second ascended team. So we can melt people. And, like, his little... Look at this. I love that, like, that's such a nice touch as well, right? In terms of design, in terms of character design. Oh, he has cowboy boots! Hold on a second. Can we, how do we get a closer look at the cowboy boots? In the menu, I guess? Hold on a second. Can we zoom in? Look at the, his cowboy boots. This is such an all-timer design, right? Hold on a second, right? He has this big jacket that's too big for him, right? These sh shorts that are extremely tight. These socks that are riding up towards his knees. And these cowboy boots with spurs on the back. Like... It seems like he just put this outfit together for, like, the defense or something. And he has a little book on the back as well. Oh, my God. Verifying our current position. Measuring distance to target area. All right. I've recorded the terrain conditions. Oh, yeah, you have. Okay. And then, so he has a spear move. He also just has, like, a basic, um... So can we hold this as well? We can and just shoot the ice. So I think that's going to be super useful. He looks like a chocobo or something. Wait, is, is that is this not uh Chi-Chi's? What a, okay, successful day. And I thank you again. Not only do I have a nice outfit, but I really feel like, you know, the pity points really gave us uh, some <laughs> some nice stuff there eventually with that thing. I don't think I would have gotten that without you. Um, uh, again, I, I, I know I should just say the name, but I'm worried that, like, again, that they will, you know, you never know. You never know. You want to get permission first. I'll even talk to them today and uh, we'll see what can happen. And maybe I can edit into the video, you know? Um, I'm always trying to be polite here. Okay, so... Mika only run? What is everyone thinking? <laughs> Imagine a team with Mika and Firminet and just the two of them. I feel like uh, this is going to be the greatest game of all time. Okay. Hold on a second here. Wait, we got some books here? Oh, in the, in the battle thing. Oh. There we go. And we got a constellation for Razor as well. So if we're looking at our party setup here. Hold on a second here. So I'm thinking that if we're setting up a new party... Um, let's look at team standing by here. So say we go My Mika. For now, we go Mika like Nahida ready. maybe. But we can't level up Nahida yet either. Where's where's her level up stuff? It's like is her is she Sumeru as well? There we go Mika. So many places for us Nahida, to you, Benny boy. You want me on your team? And. If we can get Albedo, is that a good team? If we can get Albedo and put him on the team? Because, like, I think... Yeah, hold on a second. Where, where do we level up? Uh, Nahida has stuff to ascend, so I think her stuff is in... A de it's a Dendro Hypothesis, and it's... Whereabouts is this? I know you guys have told me this before, but it's been a while since you guys have told me. Um... That is in Sumeru. So the so when we go to Sumeru, we could actually use Nahida again, and maybe have a daughter team going as well. I'm good with that. I'm very good with that. That's cool. And like the thing is, like, like guys, like like I'm okay with taking my time. You know what I mean? I am okay with taking my time. That's always the fun thing to do in these games is take your time. Uh, I'm always pressing the wrong buttons, aren't I? So I think this is how you like you search for search for players. So there's a player in Mon there's players in Monstad. So I think we go to Monstad and have a duel. Such such successful day, such a successful day. Oh God, he's got another character. Yay! <laughs> You doing okay there? Yay! <laughs> I'm doing great! Everything's fun. Everything's nice. Everything's good. Life is good, Marjorie. Life is good. Come take a look. There will definitely be something that catches your eye. 
I would like a duel, please. Let's let's start, please. I've got you, my size. Now the vendors have the hilly trails above. Okay, let's go. So again, we don't like. I want to buy carriage just because I feel like we could make a way better deck. I'm gonna confirm everything here, and that's fine. So let's try our best with this. So I'm gonna send. So okay. So she has a electric one and an ice one. So the Luke sending out the Luke first is the, is the good idea. Let's go. Send out first. So we want to get as much fire as possible. Just straight up. Uh, we're not going to be switching out either. Uh, so re-roll all of these. Oh, we did. We, we should have re-rolled the other one too. That was my bad. I just clicked it back and unclicked it. So we have some Omnis. We have one Omni, but we can also um, change the, 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 the cards here that we don't need. So let's see. Uh, equipment card. When you play a talent card or a character uses Electro Spin 1, it lets you die. When you play a talent card or a character uses a skill... Hydro, we can definitely elemental tune this because we don't even have a hydro card. Um, elemental tuning, please. This Paimon card, when um, action phase begins, create Omni element. So how does this work? This always was very weird to me because it takes three of the same. But yeah, we can do that. Uh, we have three fire cards. And we have when you play a talent card or a character uses a skill... Um, spend one less and, you know, we can also elemental tune this one as well. Actually, we might wait to elemental tune that because I think we might have to, like, <laughs> wait a bit. Um, so that's three. Just get rid of them right away, right? We're good with that? Yeah, just get rid of them right away. Oh, man, I'm so happy. <laughs> this is such a good day. <laughs> okay, so... We can actually, like, diluke this. We could actually diluke this. I actually think, though, I'm going to end the turn, just so end the round, so let them go ahead and do whatever they want, but then we can next time um, uh, do something else, you know? So let's uh, switch around our... Uh, so, so we have Omnis. We we might... I think I think in this one, guys, we switch the fire. We keep the fire. Because it's actually going to, like, help us out a bit. Especially with the elemental differences and stuff like that. But then again, I suppose, like, it, it's not that they're ultimately elemented up. But, like, I don't think Toulouse going to need to change. You know what I mean? I don't think Toulouse is going to need to change at all. Right? Yeah, there's no, there's no need for him. He's not going to change. Like, look, we're just going to tear through this whole team. Luke's already super powerful. Yeah, Ice Arrow, cool. But, like, he has no, not into melt us or anything. She's not into melt us or anything, so. Um, if we, we just go again. We could actually end it this, this turn. Look at this team, by the way. You, you can declare whatever you want. Let's start doing some elemental tuning. Um, elemental tuning. Elemental tuning. Elemental tuning. Elemental tuning. And then let's do our ultimate skill. Why not? Doesn't matter. <laughs> what do we get? We got... Item details. What is that? Uh, invoking senior seed matches every duel you win builds upon the path to victory. So it's, okay, so it's like experience points in dueling. Uh, thank you so much. That was really fun. Oh, well, you're better than the regulars here. So I guess we also like look in the map and see if there's anyone else that wants to duel. There's someone up here. And there's someone at the end of the bridge. Let's go let's go battle these people. Let's kill them. Let's kill them. Nimrod! <gasps> Swan, what do you think of this? Neutralizing threats. Is that are we battling Timmy? I'm not scaring away your pigeons. I'm not trying to scare away your pigeons. Wait, is he even here? Wait. Hold on a second. Is he not here because it's nighttime?
That's so sick. Guys, that's actually so sick. Because like what that what that does is basically it means it's like it makes it feel more official. And what I mean by that is like it just it's literally like the world feels more real that a kid's not gonna be hanging out around nighttime on the bridge. You know? It just makes it instantly feel more real. Okay. Like easy. Easy way to make your world feel more real. Oh, we can we only we can only battle once we reach level ten, so we have to do the adventure challenge. <laughs> Timmy's that good. Well, he is a kid who seems to have a lot of time on his hands. Um, you know what I mean. So yeah, I never exchange stuff yet. Like I don't feel the need to. Exchange. Oh, so his special rule is triggers automatically once per round. When this card gains one pigeon, when this card gains three pigeons, this card, this card, then draw one card and create an omni element. Okay. Level 8 monsters as well, by the way. Uh, I think we're going to send out... The threads of your fate Princess lie in my hands. I'm so excited, man. This is such a good game. So we want, like, um, mostly electros and a few fires, actually. So might, we might actually get rid of this, 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 and this. And we roll. We're going to do a lot of them to tune anyway, because, like, our, our support cards aren't nearly as good as we'd like them to be. If I'm being honest with you guys, they're not nearly as good as we need them to be either. Um, we have insufficient elemental dice, but we can do some elemental tuning. When you play a talent card or a character uses a skill, spend one less pyro die. Uh, right now, I don't think we'll need this. Next time you use a skill, switch your character with an active character. Oh! Actually. And then. Then we do elemental tuning, and we switch to that. Uh, we go skill check, and we d we we tr we damage this guy here with this. Use skill. Odd, reveal thyself. And it brings the Luke out, which is actually exactly what we wanted. Is is exactly what we wanted, man. Um. Because now we can do five damage on this boy because of overload. Exactly what we wanted. Um, but now he's getting the two damage in, so we might actually... Actually, what I might do is I might switch out you. This will be interesting. And then we're going to re-roll, I think. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna get to attack first. That's the only thing. But we have a safer character in front of us now. And now look at the electric damage. That's actually really good. So actually Deluke would have been really good to keep out in front, but... Maybe we can do a superconduct? Uh, what do we keep out here? We want to keep out the ice. For now. Uh, so if we do... Yeah, that's fine. We might get a few more ice ones here. Oh, two Omnis. Great. Great, great, great. Opponent goes first. What are you going to use? Actually, some pretty good damage. We're on fire now. These are fire guys. Um, so if we go and do an ice move for a superconduct, yeah. Free. And look at that. One one damage down to the other boy as well. Uh, my turn again. Um... Switch character out. Uh, which are we going to use? No, no, no. Switch character for you. Because the, the most he can do is like one Let's damage this. badge. Switch you know what them. I mean? And we can then overload him anyway. Yeah. He's not going to destroy us with that. Um, and then it could pro possibly get like... Yeah, like like this, this, is, this is good. This is good. So now they only have one guy left. And even if they destroyed the Luke, we're going to have other characters left. And we can do a superconduct as well. Um, honestly, I'm switching out characters. In the name of the princess, in just makes sense because we have a lot to. We have no gems, so we can't play any cards left anyway. That's fine. Nice. So really, we should have been taking advantage of it, but then again, it's not going to matter anyway because we're going to do good damage anyway. 
We're gonna do some good damage anyway. Wolf phase. So I think we we keep out our, our electric girl for a bit. Two Omnis, which is really good. Replace these, I guess, just in case we want to use Kaya. Um, yeah, that's that's a good roll. That's a good roll for what we need. So now it's three pigeons, so we can discard a card to add. To, they can discard a card to draw a card. Uh, five damage, pretty insane. Um, one second. Is there any cards we can use here? Uh, yeah. Equip her with that. So she does more damage. Because I think we're going to end it right now then. Yeah. I summon thee. Nice. Timmy, you got destroyed. So we can... So the, the idea... Oh, we got a, Tim, a Timmy card? Cool. Nice. Evil Timmy. How'd I lose? Because you're not Mika. Or Micah, I guess, maybe. I think Mika. He, 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 oh, even the most agile character we have now. Look at this. And there's one more duelist up top. Lawrence. My wow, Monsan never fails to be pretty, doesn't it? Look at this. I think that Mika and Bennett would get along really well. The way he's like always preparing for an adventure and Bennett isn't. <laughs> Bennett goes on adventures all the time, but he's not preparing for them, you know what I mean? What's the hand? Was it a chest or something up there? Oh. We can go check what it is. Oh, wow. There's something attached to this as well. Oh, Mika might not be the best climber, are you not, Mika? I am. Watch. Yeah, but you're almost out of stamina. That's because you started me without stamina. That's true. That's true, Mika. That's my fault, to be honest. Aha! <laughs> He's so good. They, I, they gave me the most OP character in history. No, don't stand in the spike, Mika. Ow. Your cowboy boots are impressive. Very impressive. Yeah, what's up with the hand? Did I put that there? <laughs> Did I put a hand symbol there? I don't know. Oh, it's like items you can pick up. That's weird. Hi, Glory. So where's the other duelist? Right here. And we get a card for this? Let's go. You kidding me? We're getting a card for this? We got a I remember all of you guys in the comments last time were saying you'll never get Mika. And I said I will get Mika. Just you wait. Stop being so mean. I will get Mika. Is she up by the church? Yes. Oh, no, just up this way. Please stop being mean to me. I will get Mika. And y'all laughed at me then. Well, who's laughing now? Can you guys do this? <laughs> I just killed her by accident. I didn't mean to end it. Like to aim it there. You're all sweaty. Same. Um, Achieve victory within five rounds. We can do that. We can do that. If I if I pretend we can do it, we can do it. So here we go. Uh, I never change out cards, honestly. So her special skill is when you use a skill card that already has been used in this round, spend one less element to die. Okay, so it's like a reuse of cards. So what does she have? She has an electric boys. We'll take it those guys goes uh, those uh, out first, I guess. Actually, taking big boy out first might be a good idea. Yeah. I think taking Big Boy out uh, first is going to be the better this idea. This will be interesting. But then again, we don't choose. Yeah, we don't choose. But it's okay. It's okay. I forgot we don't choose. <laughs> we can't just choose. Um, Let's re-roll these. 
not a terrible roll. Like, we can do one attack. Uh, but I'm probably going to switch uh, out characters right away. Let's go. To Diluc. You can attack me if you want. Go ahead. Do an attack. Do a nor normal ice arrow attack. You can do that if you want. Oh, you stinky boy. It's okay. We'll deal with this. And we might overload him then. I think that's what we'll do. And we'll switch out for the princessin. Ah, uh, yep. In the name of the princessin. End your round. Go on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, let's see. Next time you perform a switch character, spend one elemental uh, elemental die. Yeah, really good idea to have. Shift. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, elemental tuning. Uh, let's do a little overload attack. No rest for the wicked. And we also get like extra damage then next time. So it actually might be good to always like switch characters to like another character we have here. Um, we can't do anything else. So let's end the round. Okay. The best thing to do is just take out these ones. And just see if we get some Omnis. Not a bad roll. Not terrible. Like, we could, um... Switch character. Let's finish this swiftly. Are you gonna switch out your characters as well? It doesn't matter. Whoever you switch out to is dead. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. Um, who are you going to bring out? Yeah, you're going to attack me now and end me. Watch, well, he's going to end me now. Okay. You've literally opened yourself up. No, we don't need to do that. Um, you've literally opened yourself up to get destroyed. You know what I mean? I'm not freaking done either. <laughs> you think I'm done? You think I'm done? You, you, you thought I was going to do it just doing it around for you? Victory. Cool. What car we got the we got her character as well, which is really cool. The her character card. I like the character card idea. So it's possible to win this, him. Yeah, I just barraged ya. Just barraged ya. Okay, let's go. So we're adventure rank thirty five. We can definitely ascend our rank, adventure rank to thirty six at some point. So we wait a second. So this is like a re battle. You can battle this creature now. That's cool. We also have. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Freshly fallen snow may be beautiful, but it masks the more nuanced features of terrain, which can be a pain. So people are like, get to the top of the set, which I think we have to go this way to get up to the top of it. By the way, Mika's adorable. Mika's the most adorable person who ever lived. <gasps> and I actually feel like it's time to, um,. Like, pure baby gangsta as well, by the way. Pure baby gangsta. I think there was a way to get up here. Remember, there was, like, the thing you could use? The snow is actually really pretty here as well, isn't it? Gene. Oh, Gene's probably freezing. But you're our, uh, an emo character, so we need you up here. So we're actually very close to, like, being able to have, like, a second team. But of course, we want to keep our leveled up stuff for ascending other characters, like ascending our current team. Um, 
Which I might do again. I might send our team again. Um, guys, I think you guys understand that this isn't a, you know, a thing we gotta be doing here, you know what I mean? Okay, you're about to get meat get, guys. Hope you understand what's about to happen. <laughs> I made that up. Okay, get down there for a second, I'll do this. So I guess we have to go, like, all the way up the top here? to get to that thing, to get to that pillar. It's high up, guys. How are we supposed to climb up to that? <laughs> okay, excuse me, sir. Space. Climbing up right up behind me. I wonder if we can get there from there. Look at that. That looks like a space that we could probably get. Oh, look at this. What does it say? Dig. Oh, cool. Uh, even better than I imagined. Dig. It's my lucky day. Bury me. Oh, there's like an exquisite chest over here that's not unguarded and no enemy will ever pop out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Adventure time. Let's uh, let our stamina level up again here. Wait a second. Are Bennett and Mika the same person? And we have this as well. So we'd like three fires, I'm guessing. Okay, you're okay. But I, I want to light the three fires. Yeah, we're going to do that. Let's light it up. And we do this. I love that they're just like, hey, look. You have to do something to, to get the, the prize. So that is the way you go around here. This is so sick. Oh my god. And there's something on top of there. So that's good. Can we can we grip onto this though? We can, thank god. I'm not gonna do the extra grip on. Because I feel like we might get damaged by that. The, the snow. Let's see. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What were they trying to show us up there? This place is incredibly high up. Pime has no idea where this pillar might have come from. Did it all fall down from the sky? How strange. see the horizon this is actually insane what were they trying to show us in the distance there was like a castle in the distance almost or a building like you can see everything is the sun rising oh my god let this did i just do the most perfect timing in the history of perfect times to the point that we're not even getting damaged by the cold anymore Gorgeous. Oh my god. Who would have thought I'd get to watch the sunrise with you guys? Onwards. We have work to do. No, we don't right now. We're good right now. We're good right now, Gene. This is a very worth it a worthwhile expedition imagine how clear the air is up here <laughs> actually probably like very bad you probably can't breathe very much but it's fresh very cool yeah. Uh, let's go meet up with Zhongli. 
Is there any markers we haven't gotten in this area? We still have to go to the Shenyu Vale as well. Um, let's switch back to our other team as well, by the way. Just, you know, we will be using him at some point. Um, actually, we might use him now just to see, like, what he's like for a bit. This place is still gorgeous, too. Oh, yeah. Let's activate the quest statue. Uh, uh, Archon quest. So we know where to go. Wait, you you can wake up, right? Do you want to fight us for a bit? Show us what you can do? Perfect. Okay, so I guess we start off with a... Like that. A little bit of a... That. Adventure time. Uh, a little bit of a official... His uh, reload time? Terrible. But I guess you can, you can fix that with artifacts, right? Like a, an actual very bad reload time. Let's light it up! Okay. I'm fine. Really? Oh God. He's you had your chance. Glutton for punishment over here. So we have our little move almost ready. And he has a spear, which is funny because he has like a crossbow, but he like uses his spear more than anything. Everybody, stand back. So we might as well just like avoid him as much as we can here. This is uh, this is usually the move they do when they feel like you're doing too good, and they go, "Hey, we gotta stop him." Precision strike. Odd, uh, reveal thyself. Yeah, that was that was silliness that got us hit there, wasn't it? So what's his move? Let's see his move. See, obviously we have to read the talents to get what he's doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. It's is it reducing his damage or something? We're gonna have to read the talents. Of so like, I'm not, I'm not silly. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not expecting to just understand it right away, guys. It looks like it's like reducing his damage or reducing something on him. Just read the talents. Just read the I'm gonna read the talents. Just read the talents. By the way, some people are very kind about. Hey, like, just look at the talents. Some people, like, will exaggerate the hell out of things. He doesn't read. He never reads. And it's like, man, like, you're picking picking parts out of the episode that you want, you know? And I don't care about getting a little frustrated about that, because sometimes it is kind of like, man, like, there's people who go like, hey, you should read your talents. It's like, yeah, 100%, you're right. And then there's people who are like, you never read. You just never read. I only watch two minutes of your video, and you never read. Look at Zhang Li and his little booty. You didn't say that. I said that. You're not taking credit for that. Hello. Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Did you sure? Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? It was so big and pretty and expensive. Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? What did you talk about with her? She's super rich and so generous. <sighs> think she's very friendly. Business people are always friendly when the suits their interests? Yeah, his take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon's. He thinks that even the tactless Yuhang is more trustworthy than her. Oh, so you also met with Kuching then. What did she have to say? She said the time of the adept I It's such an interesting passed. take. If even the Liyue and Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <laughs> no respect for the divine. Indeed, contrary to the Everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart. Though they are both members of the Qixing, although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. 
both of these are true. She's highly ambitious, she's highly intelligent. But I'm going to say highly intelligent, yes. just because I think it's the more accurate she has role only for sure. relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. I mean, yeah, true, but she's relying on a lot of other people now, at least. Like, the amount of people that have come up to us to talk to us for her. It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tian Xuan, she would not- The Jade Chamber oh, sorry, I didn't mean to- second. I pressed the button by accident. What's the most important thing to her, then? Oh, the close-up. Of course. Money. No surprises there. All Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Leela and that they aren't to be trusted. We have, um, we're, we're giving like way too much info away, right? <laughs> that is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. And now they're trying to, to reproduce the sigil of permission. Hmm. No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. Here's the thing, 110%, like, like, I am right to be suspicious. 100%. So, is there anything we need to get for the right of parting in Diwal Marsh? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. I've always wanted to do that. Glaze Maybe. lilies? Well, why did we come all the way out here? Doesn't the garden in Eugene Terrace have some? Even Chingsa Village has glaze lilies. Oh, right. Paima remembers that Madame Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. No. Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They won't do it all. So they have to be gardened, like, naturally. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded, turning it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all the glazed lilies were wiped out. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glazed lilies may still be found in the wild. Wild glaze lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. But I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. So you need me to sing? <laughs> That's correct. What? Your singing will surely For bring out the strongest fragrance from the flowers. I... You serious? You serious? I can sing. Boy toy from Detroit. Do I that song? No, boy toy named Troy lives in Detroit. <laughs> uh, so how good is your singing? I'm a pro. Really? Why doesn't Paimon believe you? I'm a pro. You? Listen to me. Promises you keep. We'll only know once he starts singing. Wait till you hear my voice. It's actually incredible. It's actually very. It's actually gonna worry you a bit. How good I am. You're actually gonna be like, holy hell, how did you get that good? That's insane. And like, look, I'm not one to brag, but wait till you hear my voice. It's gonna be incredible. We walk up to it right now. My anaconda don't. Let's sing to these lilies. Gene could sing to him, maybe. It's time to sing. Yeah, go on. Ready. <laughs> you can bullshit me all you want. If you say that Zach Aguilar humming a tune is bad, I will literally uninstall the game. Oh, maybe. That's actually really interesting. There's only one thing I can destroy these guys. Mika, get them! Oh, 
We don't have our lament. <laughs> Quickly, Mika. We gotta get Mika in a second, guys. He's gonna destroy these guys. Oh, Mika. Whatever this is. Do it. <laughs> you got this, Mika. If you believe in Mika, just let him know, guys. Wind, hear me. Wind, hear me. Mika, get him. You had your chance. You had your chance. I M Mika says all the right things. I agree with Mika. They had their chance. They had their chance. Those weren't glaze lilies. Glaze lilies wouldn't hit people. Exactly, Sean. Those powers could have put up quite a fight. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Hmm. Strange. This game, this game is so beautiful. Look at the background. These petals look interesting. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Well, that's nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? Unfortunately, no. Ugh, that's so lame. Excuse me. Oh! This is the person that uh, led us to, um, or that told we had an audience with Ningguang. Are you searching for glaze lilies? We yeah, are, actually. Oh, hey, it's... What's your face? Greetings, uh, Hello, traveler. I'm surprised you still remember my name. Yeah, because it said it above your name. Your, your text box, actually. Ah, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Very informative and scary. Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. <laughs> True. Didn't I tell you the way? <laughs> Surely I did. You didn't. You yep. didn't. We found the way on our own. <laughs> it is isn't a secret, so perhaps you just assumed we knew. Oh, I see. We're trying to. Yeah, we're uh -oh. we'll excuse her. I guess I really did forget to tell them. Huh. Something seems a little off about Ganyu. She's acting different from the first time we met. Where's her serious? Well, she was probably on serious now? business the first time. Oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. Now, I am simply out on a stroll yeah. to see the flowers. Yeah. Man, that's the way you be. That's the way you always be. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. Paimon, we always bring up very no, uh, it's quite sensitive right. things. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. I'm processing emotions is freaking difficult. It's very difficult. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. So that means... Yes. Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados Jesus, of Mondstadt remains of the first seven. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Whoa. So, like, there's different iterations now. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. She is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded wow. 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. It's never, it's never had to deal with that. So what do you think of this farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. I wonder if it is, it is It is. difficult. But then again, you have people like Kaching who's like, yeah, whatever. You know, we'll deal with it. 
But as an adeptus, I think I will eventually come to You're an adeptus? Did she say that before? Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and adepti has now reached its end. Huh? Did you just say... Yeah! <laughs> I, was, I was been taken back by two. Yes, I... I am a mix of human and Chilean. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. Oh. After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. Both these answers are very, very rude. Uh, I don't want to answer either, but I think this is, I think this is less rude because it's like, oh, that explains the horns. You could say it like that, but this is like, that explains how old you are, you old, dirty old person. Uh, uh, let's save that conversation for another day. You say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? We are. I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have Thank it if you, you wish. Thank you so much. We dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Let's sing together. Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Leo a ballad to it. Wait. Da, 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 that's what that's what uh, our guy sang. He sang Barbara's song. Is that is Barbara singing a Mondstadt song this whole time then? Da, 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 that's cool. That's really cool. Wow, so you really know your stuff too. Thanks, Gunya. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting. I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming See, everyone farewell there's, it's for our It's so interesting world. how everyone has their own, like, whoever, everyone has, like, a like a, a part to play in this. And everyone has their own feelings on the, the, the goodbye to the character, you know? If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. Thank you. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. Cool. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies... I think this was a fitting end to our tasks, in more ways than one. Zhongli, you seem suited to working in agricultural development. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. Mm -hmm. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Wow. See? Jean-Louis sounds like he's already seen it all. Alright, I think it's about time we head back to Leo at Harbor now. I guess we head back to Liyue Harbor. Uh, we should change out our team. Um, we will be using him at some point. Now, I don't know if he's even that good, but I like his character appearance. And he's level 40 now, so he's going to be used at some point. Uh, let's switch back. Let's get back our Zhao. And we'll use Zing Shu because we haven't used him in a bit either. We have a very good list of characters. Like, look at that. Like, we have a very good list of characters. Wait, was that Barbara? I think it was Barbara's song, right? Da, 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 da. Does she sing? Let's see if she's, she'll sing it. Where is it? I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. You won't. You won't be. And that's okay. Her older sister is um, Sayu. It's really cool. I think maybe it's in her voice line. Da, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So that's a Mondstadt song. Very neat. Oh, we have to. Oh, we're traveling like to the edge of the UA Harbor here, which is interesting. We never go this way. Jean, how's it feel being a new main character now? Now you have a cooler outfit. How's it feel? And she's really fast. <laughs> she's really fast, or at least feels fast because she's doing the little strides. 
Watch this, we're gonna get attacked by, um... Wait, is that a Fatui member? There's Fatui members all the way down here. They're all talking to the guards and stuff. Which Fatui member is that? What happened? The city gate is swarming with Lilith and... The Fatui? This atmosphere is highly abnormal. Yeah, it feels weird. It seems as though something big has happened. Oh no. Felix, what happened? Ah, you're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhongli, I presume. The Millilith are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Desperate times? The Adepti of Joyung Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? Oh god. Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting oh. to stall the Adepti outside the city. That's not good. That's not good. However, both sides were quite obstinate and hit an impasse. It seems inevitable, given the current situation. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Qixing. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. Surely the Liu and Qixing are not the sort to give in so easily. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of conflict. Yeah. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Uh, that's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> That's the cheesing for you. Can I say though as well, like this is tit for tat. Now the Fatui were like were one hundred percent trying to make me blame Ningguang for all of this as well. Like there was there was a tit for tat going on here. Maybe that was just child, but there, there was a tit for tat. Anyway, Mister Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. It looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. Yeah, we can't Do stand by and watch. you to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? Lament. Neither path is an easy one. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli, we've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all of this. They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gate. You could have told him that first! Things are taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Okay. Consider your next course of action carefully, Traveler. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, it may be wisest to look for the fuse first. <sighs> Having connections with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. So what does Zhongli mean by looking for the fuse? I love both. We know it's child, but you know, Mr. More Morning and Sense is really funny. And the ginger guy. <laughs> that ginger guy. Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole city turned upside down, it's definitely him. He must be waiting for the moment when no one is watching to do something weird. We'll just have to assassinate him. But where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? Follow me sounds cool. That's the first time we're ever going to be cool. I don't know where he's gone, though. Huh. Wrong button. Go to the golden house. Okay. We just got, we got some good quest rewards for that as well. Don't push her off. I know it's tempting. Don't listen to your intrusive thoughts. Wait, is that Captain... Oh, no, that's, that's, that's it, just it's the same outfit. Which makes sense, by the way. Like... Not everyone's gonna have like a uh, like different outfits. Like you know, usually like especially back in these times, if they are comparing them to these times, like you know, more of a historic fantasy time, like it's very rare to have like different outfits. So like they have to distinguish the actual main main characters with like actual outfits, you know. Now we have four main characters on the team now. Four main characters on the team. Ain't that right, Billy? Never stops jumping up and down. He's trying to assert his dominance. He knows I can't jump after my ankle broke. What'd you get at? I have a quest for you, traveler. Can you jump on him? That's the type of quest to be given sometimes in this game. <laughs> traveler, I have a quest for you. 
Can you kick my wife? <laughs> no, I can't kick you, weirdo. Traveler, I have a quest for you. German suplex my cousin. <laughs> no. <laughs> Traveler, I have a quest for you. Can you buy some tea? Oh, that's, that's a pretty good quest. And then get some flowers. Okay. And then sock my granddad in the face. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> Traveling far. I don't think I've ever been here, have I? I probably have. Who knows? No, I don't think I... Wait, have I? I don't think I have. It's really pretty, though. Level 47. Wait, it's a freaking dungeon? I think we go with this. This, this, our, this, our, this our crew. This is the crew. It's a dungeon. Or a boss? This is the golden house? What is that? It looked impressive enough from the outside. The money! Would have guessed that it was is this the vault? Here on the inside, and so, full of mora. so we're not gonna run out of mora because we oh someone's on the ground of us, so we can just go here and get all the mora. This is where all of Tibet's mora is minted, right? In that case, maybe they won't notice if a few mora go missing. Touch a single more and we're done oh, for, is what I'll say. Trap. Tricky, tricky. Good thing Paimon's guide you here. <laughs> but even if we can't take Someone's on the ground. Him, we can still have a closer look, right? Someone's dead on the ground. Or better yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. It's like a dream come true. Something feels oh, amiss here, yeah. yeah. Back to business. Yeah. It's quiet. I love you, Paimon, but... Too quiet. Surely someone's gotta be guarding something as important as the Exuvia. Huh? Look! What happened here? The Milius. Uh oh Paimon smells trouble. Quick, we have to go make sure that the Exuvia is alright. It's so cool. Like, I, I wonder if we could have checked on this before. Holy hell, look at this location here. Is this gonna be a boss battle? I think this is a boss battle, isn't it? Oh my god, look at the... the reflections on the floor as well? What does the ceiling look like? Oh wow! That's super pretty. Who's gonna fight us though? You've already fulfilled your task as guides, so why do you still linger here? Haven't oh. you already seen enough trouble for today? Oh. Huh? Who's there? Who's there? <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross. And you're in my way. Looks like I was just in time then. <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location. Don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? I don't know. Stopping the more immense. Hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. Child. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? <laughs> As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers, it's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. Oh boy, this is actually a great build-up though. Will get that which she desires. I won't let allow you to get near the Exuvia. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing. And there's oh. nothing you can do to stop me anyway. Oh no! The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that mm -hmm. stage to begin with. Mm -hmm. But I'm either way. Sorry, I should have skipped your line, child. Favorite part. A simple pleasure. And one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. Okay. The battle. Which battle? battle. So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? Oh, Paimon, get him. <laughs> get him. You could say that. <laughs> when Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, she swiftly left the scene once her yep. mission was that accomplished. Was a, that was a moment that like she made an enemy of us right, right away. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. 
She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider oh, you like the her a lot. consequences of her actions. You like her a lot. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't kill you, Traveler. I'll just play along. Okay. To feel the thrill of battle. <laughs> oh, God. I'm actually good. This, kind of, this is very thrilling. This is Besides, exciting. You could never defeat me. Not even in your wildest dreams. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway. Because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? You're completely delusional. <laughs> oh, God, he is an evil elf. He's an evil elf. Fighting talk. I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. Oh, no. <sighs> This Wait, chance is hard to come by. Oh god. So show me all you've got. So very oh, he has a bow. Get the chance to he has a bow. Off with a oh no, child. Avenger. Oh, so child. Child. And don't you no, child. <laughs> child, no. <laughs> no, child. Oh, child. Oh no, no, no. Oh no. Child. Oh god, wait, hold on a second here. Uh, let's let, feed him up, feed our boy a bit. Oh, child, where are you? <laughs> By royal decree. Let me leave you a verse. So quick to flee. So quick to flee? Yes, I should take you more serious. <laughs> Oh, here we go! Here we go! Oh my god, he's black clothes! Oh no, he's in, he's officially cute. <laughs> the black clothes with the Fatui mask? Are you kidding me? Now, show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. Oh god, yeah, he's now. Now it's happening. Now this is it. This is it, my guys. Swirly time. Lament. Worthless. <laughs> You've got some skills. You know what? Let's go. Let's swap. Let's swap back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I won't even lament you. I won't even lament you. I won't even lament you. I want this fight, child. Come on, child. Swirly time? Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. Where are you? There you go. Hello. Oh wow. Oh wow. All you do is run. All I do is run? I'm doing the opposite run here. Time to DPS him. Oh, I guess that's not gonna work. Wait, did we not get him? Not bad. Did we not get him? I thought we got him. But that's about as far as you'll get. Oh my God! And the Geo stuff as well. Holy hell, and his weapon's like a twin blade. <gasps> Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. Oh, I didn't know I'd had it either, buddy. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. Oh, the music! You of all people know this should have been expected. No! No! I'll be taking more access gnosis now. Obviously, we still won the boss battle, but it's a, it's a story. <laughs> it's the story. I like, see. oh my god. Well, this is most. What happened? Someone else already take it? You, you beat no, no, I didn't do it. Didn't Child, Child, no, I wouldn't have fought you if we did. We probably would have said it. Holy hell! That outfit's freaking sick, Child. Oh my god. Child. <laughs> no way! What is this? Tartagula, child. Oh my god. 
I'm in I'm in bits. I'm in bits. This is so sick. This is so sick. Oh wait, we're going down? Where are we going? Oh my god, I like to guys guys, I have so much chills. I have chills all over. Oh my god. We're fighting him now? Chai, what happened to you, buddy? We used to be, we used to be good friends. Lament! Lament! <laughs> Let's lament him for a bit. You know, little lament never hurt nobody. Oh, we're gonna die here. Yeah, why would we take it? We have no reason to take it. Chai, we have no reason. Oh my god, child, we have no reason to take it. We literally have no reason to take it, child. Oh, what do we do here? Oh, he's he's watery. Do a little swirl. It didn't hit, hit though. Didn't hit. A little hit there. A little hit there. Oh, that got us very good. Time to act. Body and mouth, let me weave you a verse. No, my sword. Oh no! Useless. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Time to act. Um, maybe the princess? No, know it's not. Still not. Still not close enough. We need to get closer. What are you doing? What are you planning? What are you- Oh! Oh! God! Lament! Lament style! Oh, what are you doing? What are you planning? Get back down here! I'm lamenting! <laughs> oh my god! I was lamenting! Let's go. Let's go. By royal decree! Fun as heck. Rain outlines your fate. Really just fun. Really just ultimate fun. This is this is so good. Let's go. Avenue to heal up Jawas. Oh god, he's gonna jump down again. Oh no, he's in the whale! The whale! Okay. Princessin? Oh my god. No, my Body and mine. Nice little swirly dirty here. Oh god. Jesus Christ, this is so cool. Okay, gonna jump down again? Or are you doing the whale? Oh, he's doing the. Oh, jeez! I did not see that coming! Descend. Once again. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Wind, Everything's okay. Me. Everything's okay. Huh? We got him. We got him. Oh, so so that was so cool. <laughs> That was so cool. <clears throat> well then, time to cool off. <sighs> that was so cool. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. Yeah. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. Yeah, we don't. We, why would we want to? Why would we want to? We've been trying to tell you. We didn't take it. 
So if there's something in Child that's like making him feel this way. Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? Why are we telling him this? You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your Oh, so we're not telling him that we're saying it to ourselves, yeah. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll Exactly, you yeah, know, that does smart, it's just smart. He just literally tried to kill us. Or he, he wasn't trying to kill us, he said, but then again, like the last battle seemed pretty um killy. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. Pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. I know, but making friends is weird. That was a freaking amazing Unfortunately, battle. I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. <laughs> I can't get over that. That was so cool. <laughs> Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. Well, are we, we, we working together in again? Fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... What? Yes, it appears so. Oh, Interesting no. Interesting to say the least. Oh, no. <laughs> This whole time? It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers oh, beyond no. the boundaries of contracts. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. So we've all been fooled. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this, for the weak will be swept what? away in the no, process. No, 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 child, what? The truth is, the world belongs to those who pursue strength. I seldom willingly involve myself with the weak. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. A god? What? <laughs> oh. Osile, overlord of the Vortex who was defeated by Morax, the G.R. Archon, in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the G.R. Archon's stone spears ever since. If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liyue Harbor, defenseless without the protection yeah, of its Yeah, how many people would die? Do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the But if you're wrong, everyone dies! But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago! How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? He wants to bring, yeah, this is crazy. He wants to bring back a god that was dormant from since the Archon War. Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken no. it. No. Bull boy, no. Those are sigils of permission. Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. You've been trying to duplicate them. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, <sighs> along with that which was bestowed upon me this as a harbinger by a Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon Spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me, and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. Wait, 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 now? Now? No. N right now. Oh, Jesus, God, why are you doing this? That's terrifying. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? No. If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. <laughs> he's he's gone. His his mind is gone. Huh? He's he's already gone. I look at the weather. That guy is fast. <sighs> uh, what's going on? Wait, it's literally covering Leeway Harbor in, in like floods. The music is, is sad. It's terrifying. It's terrifyingly sad. Oh, 
I saw a glimpse of that. Paimon's exhausted. Jesus Christ. If we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. <sighs> Did we make it in time? Is the Overlord of the Vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leila yet, has it? <gasps> what are you Ciao! doing here? Huh? Hold on. It's the Adept guy. What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Oh my god, yeah, it's, it's um, the daughter Adept. I said she was going to destroy the place. The fight Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, good. we have agreed Very to put good. our differences aside for now and unite Very good. against this common enemy. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, gets it. So how do you plan to defend Leela? I'm gonna cry, this is so good. <laughs> Just seeing this overlord of the vortex guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy. Even yeah. the way out here. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shit. Of course! Of course, how could you? The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer yes, to you. Yes, yes, one hundred percent. I'm so all for the it. The Archon War was fought two thousand years ago against oh enemies like that thing. No, that. <laughs> <laughs> look, at the, look at the visuals. <laughs> mm. So will the power of the Chasing, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is. Not necessarily. We even brought Teapot Lady. She is an Adeptus. Wait, all of you are supposed to be. The okay, I'm turning up the. I'm sorry if there's an echo. I'm turning up the TV. Oh, the music is so good. One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their oh. fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet, it would take one, but a little tinkering to turn this ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. Huh. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins My now. Oh, I'm... No. <laughs> I'm yeah. so... Okay, I'm so excited. It's insane. Go on, get her! <laughs> it's beautiful, but it's also terrifying. And the music is gorgeous. Wait, are we gonna have to mana, or are we fighting this thing regular? Oh my god, this is beautiful. All the Adepti are gonna run the Ballistas together. I've never had, like, chills upon chills. There are goosebumps on my goosebumps. Oh, you think you- oh, no- oh no, not them! We can stop them. Oh, catching! Look at that. I love that we saw her go and we were like, yeah, we gotta go. She didn't wait a second. Oh, it's so sick, guys. I am gonna cry. <laughs> this is so amazing. This is so incredible. The three Adepti are manning the Guizhong Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. I won't, I won't even let the Fatui be Fatui. Let's go help too. We Adepti wait. have not faced a god in several millennia. Oh wait, hold on a second, you guys are taking extra damage today. Anyone else want to appear? Oh, I'm still lamented. Anyone else want to appear? A little lament going on here. Perfect. My boys, look at you guys. Remember me? Remember me? Remember me? This is... Such an amazing game. Over here, over here, I'm guessing they're gonna appear this time. No? Yes. 
I was ready for you this time. I gotta electric charge you a bit. So we have to survive this this amount of time? Man, let's go. They're gonna appear two at this time, two in, two in a row this time. What is what? That is Osile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. I bet you are, Shadow. Be careful not to get hit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wasn't... <laughs> the Fatui! Their attacks are unrelenting! Uh, the Fatui! <laughs> You're getting lamented, guys. I'm sorry. This is lament style. Lament world, USA. My favorite place on earth. Oh, he got he got lamented. This is a lot. To say we can't hold them, children. Huh? We need to get rid of this guy as soon as possible. Don't lose heart. Here, take this. Get the energy. That light from your body. It's like the time of giant cars. So when when did she die? It's a matter of being shockwave. This brain is really strong. I didn't know when she died, and it's actually gonna be very difficult without without her there now. Oh, that's really good. Disappear. Um, I didn't even know she, I didn't know uh, she died, but hey, like, it's, it's okay. We'll sort it out. This is this is one of my favorite things in this game so far. It's so impressive. What happened? Look what happened with, with you guys. Oh, we're doing your own thing. You okay, so have 50 seconds before we can bring him, bring her back. With all your might. I too did this during the Archon War. <laughs> and they're all giving us like. Yeah. Can you? My name means swiftness. Take my power and run as I do. Oh my God! Look at this. Ah! <laughs> They're giving us all the power. No, no, we're going, we're going not fast enough. Oh my god, this is so impressive. I'm so impressed. They're giving us the power to run fast without losing stamina. Like this is so good, and all the adepti are helping us. I'm gobsmacked. Guys, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. You are strong in body and spirit. Perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptum at once. Really? This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. I don't think I can handle one. Who else is fighting over here? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, reveal thy Princess and Princess and they've heard the link. You're all getting for the link. Over here as well. This is this is the best. This is the best thing this game's done so far, and that's saying a lot. Midnight Phantasmagoria! I am I am so overjoyed. That's fine. That's fine. Words, if we hold here, there's nothing worse to come, right? Oh my god. The way they're helping us as well. The more, the merrier. Witness the power of the water. Queen of Darkness, come, sever night from day. I'm. I'm. I'm impressed. I'm beyond impressed. This is like the way it's set up, the way the fight is happening. Everything's so exciting. It feels epic. It feels like an important story while also being really fun and cool at the same time. By royal decree, 
Like everything is like working out really well for us, but just how fun it is. It's so fun. Midnight Phantasmagoria. The Fatui's numbers are thinning. Fight on, comrades. Once we finish this lot off, the Adepti will be able to deal with the god in peace. We need to make sure this, this one's over here is protected. Yeah, we need to make sure this Oh I think I think we I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Oh my god, and teaching moving as well. The way they set this up is 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 impressive beyond the anything I expected. No more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. <sighs> Hand on the head. Yeah, destroy that guy. Destroy that big beast. Oh, they're still, they're still, still awake though, still alive. It's working. We but it's working, okay. <laughs> Nigma, what are you gonna do? <laughs> this doesn't look good for us. <laughs> oh my god, look at that Shaw! Run, yeah, run, guys, run, 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 run. Even the even the adepti are running. Oh no! Oh no! No run! Oh god! Some of them are not gonna get out of there. Oh god! Even us! Shout! Oh god! Shout! Help me in his arms. That was the. Be careful now. My hair is the like standing up. Is destroyed. Without <laughs> covering like... fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give up <sighs> another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Anything, anything. <laughs> what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? Anything. I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What? And what drop it on this. Drop it on this boy. I understand. Travel. Oh. Lend me a hand. Lament! Lament! Goodbye for now. What? Goodbye for now. Let Goodbye for now. In the future. The Jade Chamber she's saying goodbye to, or is she not saying goodbye to us? Holy hell. I feel sick. <laughs> Just dropping it on him. Oh, hey. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. The waters are calming a bit. I'm done. <laughs> Pime on the best travel companion ever, you bet. Finally over? I need a second? <laughs> I need a second. Um, can I just say that that's how you do an epic boss battle that's been built up for hours and hours. That's how you do a character change. We worked to get to this point and they reward you by having one of the coolest scenes ever. We talked to every one of these characters beforehand. They all had a meaningful part in the story together and it came together so well. It dovetailed so well. I feel like I'm gonna like literally tear a muscle here by the amount of clenching I'm doing. The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. What do I do now? How do I how do I live for the rest of the day? The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. I'm supposed to just make dinner later? We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor yep. would surely yep, have been Yeah, 100%. They, they, they held up their end of the contract. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to oh. be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud. I love that Xiao is like, he's like the only, like, he's like a boy. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside I'm, part of her I'm... then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. I 
I... Can I be... Uh, it's really hard for me to, like, keep going because, like, my, my back is full of chills as well. Like, I'm, like... I'm, it's a really weird feeling. <laughs> At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued Oh, she likes that look. She's like, yeah, you talk, up. You talk me up. You talk me up. Lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liu means much to her. To it's me, her whole life. Cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Yeah, no, 100%. That's her whole life. It's what she worked for. She's been expanding it for years as well. Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Okay. Oh. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat. That one fisherman over there? Can I get back to fishing? But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. No, no. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Yes. Hmm. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Leo. Shao grabbed in us in his arms and he saved us. <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. <sighs> this morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. So he is dead. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? When there is discord between the Guardians and those they mean to, meant to, were meant to defend, harmony becomes very difficult to restore. Right! That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the four winds and the people of the Animal Archon. True, true. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both and that nothing good would come of it. Each of the seven nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti, we've become a laughing stock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? Yeah, you've been doing that. I know I already have, so why not see for And Xiao's been traveling with us this whole time, canonically. I apologize <laughs> for appearing in full armor. 
I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? <laughs> He's like, not another idiot. <laughs> I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, it was incredible. our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. Huh? Why does everyone look so down? Because there's a lot of discussions Didn't going on in Shang Chang. Big monster? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes. Yeah, that's the feeling. That's the feeling they get there. from these. Uh, Everyone from, you was know. there. That's who you're doing it for. That's who you're doing it for. When danger is near, everyone always protects me, and the rest of the time they make fun toys. Oh Jesus, this is gonna be a little bit emotional. And, this is what they're doing it for. Loads of things that make the this is why we do so what we do pretty. for as well, you know. Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Oh. Come visit us for the next lantern. Right there in the harp. Right there in the harp. That's what you do. Unfortunately, Ciao. we wouldn't be able to participate. Cause Zhao would win mm -hmm. everything. Because we are adepti. Look, he made the the sky turn dark. Oh, okay. It must be hard being an adeptus. Oh. You see, this is what Liu is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the adepti for their protection. But it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harbor. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. I mean, when you see the exact person you're protecting in front of you, it is it, it, it would change you. Let us return now. No, you can stay. Xiao can stay. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. Conqueror of demons. To me, he's just Xiao boy. To me, he's just the lamenting prince. <laughs> to me, he's just cute baby tall boy. <laughs> yes, one understands what the conqueror. That was a really good shot of him means. walking past the camera. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue. You humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. Fair enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. <laughs> Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. <laughs> All right, Mooncarver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of oh, Liyue. Wow! <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti good. Yeah, very good. avoided. All's well that ends well, huh? Yeah, you can say oh, that again. We'll right. give her a bone. It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. What's that? Child wanted to unleash the god. Yeah. <laughs> Child nearly murdered every head. innocent person in the city. But we were able to handle the overlord of the vortex on our own. He did. He's dead. The Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that archive? Yeah, there's so much. There's so much. Hyman doesn't get it. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus Rite of Parting that we're organizing? 
Oh, we have to do the farewell? I guess that's what we have to do. Like, we have to do the, the final farewell. That was one of the most incredible boss battles I've ever seen in a video game. One of the most incredible scenes. How well that was built up is insane. Like, how each character, like, meant something to the story. How each part of this game, like, like, like how the whole Archon Quest from start to finish, every, like, character that you had met had a reason to be there, a real reason to be there. Um, and you truly, like, understand everyone's character by the end of it. It was just incredible. Um... An amazing game. An absolutely amazing game. That I, uh... Adore now. I absolutely adore. Is there anything I can do for you two? I'm afraid that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is oh, in the to... state to receive guests. Yeah. We've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Lyra? Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could only mean more trouble. We had better go and make sure that everything is okay. Yep. <sighs> My heart. My heart is full. It's like... It's in that weird post-boss battle state, you know, where like you feel very good. You feel extremely good. And like it feels like, you know, it feels like you just like did something crazy. Where's Northland Bank against? Over there, isn't it? Yeah. If you know what you know when you be you beat a boss battle a really a really cool boss for the first time. And like you have like this kind of like release of energy. That's what it's felt like. Goodbye. I'm climbing in. I thought that she was going to stop me for a second. You call this cooperation between harbingers? <gasps> Senora! Cooperation involves communication, you know. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? Wait, Zhang Li's talking I'm with sure Senora as well, though? enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Hey, it's Zhang Li and child. And... You! You're also one of the Harbingers? <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. Yeah, I remember what you did to, Bards, to Venti. Was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Of course I remember. I remember it because you're a goddamn icky. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. I still have time to take breathe to stay calm. I prefer well, this. Yeah. If it isn't yeah, you it's so cool. Two, this is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit awkward, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you. Just try to person. murder us in the end. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little and we had also trying end. to murder everyone in in Liyue Harbor. <laughs> Nothing personal. We just have different views. That's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. And for anyone in the comments that wants to like talk about this, that's fine. Yes, there is nuance to every conversation, but the fact is, if no one came along to save everyone, and he thought Rex Lapis was going to come and save everyone, if no one was there to save everyone, people were dead. That child that we talked to at the end was dead. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them for leading me on. Yeah, Zhang Li so tricked actually, you. I think. Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. So he took it. The gnosis, please. Morax. What in the world are you talking about? Wait. The contract. 
is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. For my promise, Morax? is solid as stone. Morax? Morax? <sighs> How sanctimonious. What? <laughs> Shang Li is actually Rex what? Lapis? So you're the Lord of Chiyo? What? No, wait. That's no, 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 no. Twist and all, but why give the gnosis to the Fatu? Exciting twist. This is a demented twist. We've been hanging out with the, the Adepti of the, the, the God of Geo. I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract. For it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. I'm afraid I don't understand. Yeah, you don't think you went a little bit too far with that whole fake death thing? And he was like one of the first to help us as well. For you and splat. What? This big dragon falls out of the sky and all of Lyric goes into an uproar. Talk about a disaster. <laughs> Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? And what happened was everyone worked together in the end, apart from the Vitui, I suppose. Wait, what? It was only the Vitui who didn't work together. Perhaps it's best that I explain. Oh yeah? As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. It is now 3,700 years ago that I founded Liyue together with the Adepti. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form, and that the end of my time had not yet come until one drizzly day. As I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, Have I already finished my duties? Oh, Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death. Or oh, to see if the we gathered the cast of child, the Adepti, and the Leo Achising to play their roles together on the stage that was. To Leo. see if they could survive without him? Indeed I was. The Gnosis which I had kept for so many years. So he just wanted to rest. To He's just like mood. I wanna I wanna go on break. It's hard not to relate. <laughs> That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. So you mean that if the chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Lila back under control? Of course, and it would have been all too easy for him too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liu matured when faced it's with true. the death of its It's true. It's true. It's true. In the end, I, what what Kiching was saying. The resolution to all that has transpired was even more satisfactory than I could have hoped for. Take the Adepti, for instance. Owing to their years of seclusion, they were the least informed. Yet when faced with a crisis, they commendably showed the greatest amount of restraint possible. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Qixing, but in the end... They even made efforts mm -hmm. to understand the hearts of the people. True. I'm all for you taking a break, buddy. You want to take Credit a break? It is also due to Signora, the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. At my request, she kept everything she knew in strict confidence. This, despite the eavesdropping ears of her colleague. So Child was trying to spy on her. Yeah, I still don't, I'm never going to see her as good, though, um, for what she did to Aventi. This meant I could remain as Zhongli. Even having the chance to fulfill the age-old traditions of Liu. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> All of these things turned out as I had planned. 
There is only one thing that I had not anticipated, and that was the conduct of the Liu Qixing. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti, to come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liu as divine protectors, and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liu. On the contrary, I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? A little bit. You practically A little kept bit. me in the dark. I feel like both Child and I were both puppets in this situation. <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance. Cause like, because of what he did, everyone became together. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, a Depti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liu, would never have been able to become a dad. But like I said, I do feel like we are kind of like we are puppets in this whole thing together. Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? Be that I'll as that. it may, you've come out of this as the hero of Liu. I, on the other hand will be forever prescribed as a disturber of the peace, no? Because you disturbed the peace! <laughs> well then, with the <laughs> Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapoyarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Sarita. I want to seek an audience with Sarita as well. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not <laughs> He's such sharing a child. He's a child! You. <laughs> <laughs> Do as you wish. I like seeing another layer to Signora's character as well. Imagine you just kicked her as she was going no, by. <laughs> Give me back. Give me Betty's thing back. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? Right. As Zhang Li always told us, a good trade is a fair Wait, is the, is the Cryo Archon the leader of the Fatui? Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. Huh? However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made countless contracts. If the deal was of no benefit, then I certainly would not be inclined to agree to it. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. My contract to end all contracts. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. There we go. Leave the Northland Bank. It's crazy because we have to talk. We have to talk a little bit about this before we ever end the video. The right of parting. Today's the day of the right of parting. Although the star of the show is fake, we spent so much time trying to organize it. It would be a real shame not to go there now. True. True. True, but the, just to talk about Child's place in this, we were both kind of fooled, and what was so interesting about the characters, he was he was genuinely like, like not trying to help, he was trying to help us for his own gain, but he was super working hard for a lot of this stuff, you know what I mean, and genuinely didn't know anything about this as well, which is insane to me. Um, yeah, like obviously we have a whole different perspective on every character now, going forward in the story. It's insane. Wait, what's what's this person want to talk to you about? Oh, well, since we're going through with this rite of parting, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail on the head. So Rex Lapis is really. Yep. Oh. He's gone. But they didn't catch the cold. I don't even know if there ever is one.
Oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have been a normal person? You know what I think. I don't think any of the gossip on the streets you hear from those shady types is worth anything. There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. Youngish, pretty high in rank. I think they called him child. Oh, yeah, they're starting to talk about it as well. The Fatui? Hmm. They certainly are very suspicious. Who knows what those greedy, crooked folks... Shh! Lower your voice. <laughs> if the Fatui catch you in their sights, Rex Lapis won't be around to protect you this time. That makes sense that he doesn't want to talk in front of us anyway. We're hearing like the, the, the opinions you of the people, which is also a good the ocean thing. Couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been two thousand years since Rex Lapis subdued it. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis too. Say, do you think the person who assassinated our Lord and released that evil god might have been one and the same? Now that you mention it, that's very possible. Yes, it's very possible indeed. I mean, it all fits together. That person must have colluded with the evil god to harm Rex Lapis. Oh, that wicked, black-hearted scoundrel. Still, what sort of supernatural prowess must this person possess to be able to do such things? I have never heard of such a person in all my years. Ah, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. Look, the Millilith over there looks like he's about to make an announcement. Let's hear what the Ministry of Civil Affairs I'm excited for this, yeah. First. So the guy at the door, I can actually see him up there. Is that him? That is him. Yeah, man, it's it's they're gonna start talking, and of course it's gonna change the perception of the entire town. But that's what they wanted, you know, and that's what Zhang Li wanted. The Chi Sing's words. Though I think we should do autoplay on this for sure. Ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Gods and adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. So too must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyur to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. They said that Rex Lapis died because of the divine trial. They said Rex Lapis wasn't murdered. <sighs> yeah. So that's how they're spinning it. I mean, it's easier that way. It's way easier that way. That's it puts people's mind up. at ease. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention how this excuse sounds like something they just made up on the spot. Could the Chi Sing already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? But Zhang Li said that neither they nor the Adepti knew anything. Hmm. Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his Gnosis changed hands? It's possible. Exactly, right? Ooh, seems like the Rite of Farting has been going on for a while. What's already going on? Let's go have a look. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this looks like. Xiao, do you want to go see a Rite of Parting? Oh, and then Catching is there as well, and, what? uh... Yeah. Are they saying something? Are there I got you. said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. 3,700 years of contracts burnt. It's scary. It's scary ash. to go into a new time. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, there you go. We yeah. forgot that time yeah. can be pitiless. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. There's Yinger. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new yeah, and she's right too. It's like, prosperity. hey, like we we had this dream for years of like so thinking we could like. So the words of her eminence, the Tianquan. 
Tin Shuan, sorry. Does the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? Oh. Traveler. Yikes! She really is looking our way. Is that the traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So Maybe. Young. Yeah, he's his baby. The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve oh. that much. Can you give me Albedo? Whoa. That's a lot. Yinger. Oh, she, he's looking at everyone in the town. Oh. Well, could you oh. help me put up some missing person posters? Oh. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> His sister, of course. Talk to people. Talk to people taking part of the right. Oh my God, that was beautiful. Roping you in was possibly the most masterful move we could have made. Oh I my God, that was so beautiful. I've got to hear Zach's voice again. When our deeds come up for their review. <laughs> Why you? Were you just trying to look cool earlier, or are it's you my, really what? that selfless? It's my sister! If you were looking for someone, you could have just told me that in private. It's my sister! Ganyu. The cleanup of the premises, managing the crowds as they exit, making an account of the right? There's much that remains to be done. I didn't miss anything, did I? No, you're doing good. Look for Zhang Li's over there. This is incredible. <gasps> this whole game is incredible. I'm so impressed. I'm gonna be sad kind of leaving hey, Liyue to Liyue. Oh, look at the change in the mountains as well, look. Look at this. Everyone in Liyue is caught up in their emotions, thinking that they'll never see Rex Lapis again. Yeah, that's you, buddy. And here you are looking all relaxed. <laughs> as soon as he said he wanted to take I a break and he was tired and he wanted to finish up, I was like, down the burden I, have borne for 3, I was like, for years. sure, dude, you take a break. You know what right. I mean? If the two of you can spare the time. I should treat you to a meal at the Shinya kiosk. Oh, and he's like, oh, I get to eat food now? <laughs> that sounds like big talk, Zhongli. Paima might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout. <laughs> but you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Shinya kiosk. Are you sure you can afford I'm, it? It makes sense why he wasn't able to, like, he didn't know the concept of money, really. Because he's like, okay, right. who cares? I do like the Mora. But why would Morax like Mora? You've been th you've been this way the entire but why time, but. Why would Morax like Mora? As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal oh. Zhongli. See, th that's the thing. I would be kind of like, that's stupid, but like, 3,700 years, man. 3,700 years. I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So I had to rehearse a little for my new life. Oh, no wonder. Paimon gets it now. You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. But since you weren't used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite <laughs> who lives off of other people's credit. Well, we were only spending for Tui money. True. True, you Zhongli. You don't have to say it like that. True. In the city of commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge, memories, and foresight, as well as positions, roles, and lives. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank you for that. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli. Aw. Traveling. It was really fun. It was really fun. And like I said, by the way, I love you, Zhongli. But like I said, I we totally would have been upset with him. But, man, 3,700 years. Take a rest. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. True. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue our search for the seven.
Okay. There he is, yeah. There I it is. fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. Oh, so we're going to Inazuma. The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Um, Hyman thinks we've heard that one before. Uh, right. We have, actually. Yeah, we have. Right. We have definitely heard that. That is Raiden, the yeah? case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of Inazuma, people call her the Raiden Shogun. That said, was that one of the ones you could get on the banner? Saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tibet see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. What? Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders and to inlay them upon the hands of the statue of the omnipresent god. They want to seize visions? But why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Whoa, that's harsh. The animal archon. So this is going to be way less freedom, freeing than when we go here. And the Geo here. Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. Yeah, it's going to make her scared. Knowing Backing her, her to a corner a little bit. She must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods. And of these... Eternity is nearest unto the heavenly principles. All right, then. Was there anything else you wished to know? So about the trial? <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Failing a divine trial. How they came up with that excuse, I will never know. That said, the reason why the Chi Sing were so eager to resolve the incident and stop pursuing the culprit was indeed because they received news in secret that Rex Lapis was not dead. I hinted as much to the Adepti as well. How did I accomplish that, you ask? Hmm. Uh, have you ever heard of this particularly convenient Adepti art known as gifting dreams and visions? All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? So we can talk about child, maybe, actually. Yeah, about that. Before the Chi-Sing made their announcement, we listened to a lot of people Yeah, he's going to be, he's going to be Most purely blamed for everything. Blame for everything on child. These are indeed false accusations. But it remains undeniably true that child did send people to the Jade Chamber to prevent the Adepti and the Chi-Sing from defeating the ancient god. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign relations front at the moment, browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. Ha! <sighs> Those poor Snezhnayan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, I'm certain that they would have shifted all the blame to him and called for his dismissal by now. All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? The time of the Adepti has long passed. 
By the way, I don't think it's totally fair to blame it, everything on child, by the way. And what future but is I think it's for Leo. I think it's a deeper conversation to have though. Kuching is absolutely right in saying this. I think they used us as puppets. I think everyone used us as a puppet. We have to acknowledge that. Well, both me and Child were both kind of puppets in this situation. Now, though I did laud Ningguang's desire for power, believing this to be a good thing, and thought as a matter of course that she must have been behind the Chi Sing's plan to take governing power over Liu from the hands of the gods and Adepti, could the original person who brought up the idea of seizing power have been... Hmm... All right, then. Was there anything else you wish to know? And Mora. That's right. Zhang Li, now that you don't have your gnosis, what's going to happen to all the Mora into that? It's gone Since forever. Morax is dead, are they all just going to disappear? Golden House, the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even continue to work? The Mora present now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period of time, since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. <laughs> this is terrible! We're all about to run out of Mora! <laughs> That just means no food, right? Yes. This is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. Uh, well, I suppose we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Leo Achising to debate. Private fund. Hmm. This does seem like a good logical common sense idea. <sighs> it's a shame. What's a shame? It's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. Oh. <laughs> All right then. Was there That's anything it. Thank else you so much. You wish to know? Well then. I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. We finished Act 3. Whoa! There it is. And we have a bunch of new side quests to do as well. Um, I think the... First of all, let's uh, before we do anything, let's just do this one last thing before we go. Uh, do a little wish on this, just for the fun of it. And we'll talk about like what I think about the whole thing on a whole. Um, an amazing story, an amazing act. Thank God we got to the debate club. Um, I think we'll talk about it more as we're going forward throughout the series. Um, because I think I'm going to have to gather a lot of my thoughts. But I do think that this was an amazing boss battle. An amazing story. I thought it actually all kind of made sense in the end. I love how they made everyone kind of nuanced. Everyone kind of like had their own motivations. And all kind of made sense in the end. Um, obviously we can't just forgive Child for absolutely everything. But I do think that it is unfortunate that he was... He, I don't think he's definitely right in the head. Like mentally. Uh, I think that you know he resorted to something because he was desperate. Um, we were puppets as well. We were definitely puppets as well. This whole thing was incredible, though. I had such a good time with the story. I loved meeting Zhongli. I love how they're what they're doing with the Adepti. And not only the Adepti, but I love what they're doing with, um, the gods as well when we meet them. They're, every one of them has been so interesting so far. The two we've met so far have been so interesting. Uh, to the point that, it, like, it, it makes me excited to meet the other ones. I cannot wait to meet the next ones. Um, and it's gonna take a bit, but we're gonna get there to the next place. I think we're gonna explore Shen Yu Vale as well, because it's not a part of the main story. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been an absolutely incredible time. And we're taking a break now for the next six months, I think it is. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I love doing that. Uh, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. But first, let me thank the Can Never Repay the Baby Gangsta tier on uh, Patreon. Uh, because, obviously, you make everything happen. You make everything uh, come together. Um, 
this is a this is a whole combo of, of a story that like really got to me by the way as well i love how like there's like a whole everyone has a different perspective on the adepti and together they came in the end to kind of like really i think catching was kind of like the most right in the end i think but yeah but then again also we did need the adepti to protect us and but we also like so there is also that side of the conversation too TIE FIRE 2, Jamie Bull, Janet the Banana, Normal Car, Rachel S, The Ghost of Izuma, Felicity's Felix, George Candelaria, S. Kun, Yuld, Radish, Poker Girl, Tedder, and Fruity. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye bye.